Hi, time for beer engineers. Another beer review for you. So today I popped down, popped down to the offy today to grab a few, just normal beers, a few Guinness. To be honest, to have a fancy chill out, a few, few nice pints of the good stuff. Um, and couldn't resist it. Had to go look at the special shelf, and I spotted one or two, in fact, which I'll be reviewing tonight. Uh, that I, I went for, and one specifically. Was uh, from Unbarred. Now yesterday, I did a review of uh, Dank Juice from Unbarred, and remembered they were a brewery that I used to drink a lot of, get a lot of, try a lot of their beers. Um, hadn't in a while. I don't know what was on the shelf, but lo and behold, but Danker Juice. So it's a it's Dank Juice, but Danker with uh, hemp terpenes, whatever the fuck they are. Um, coming in at seven point four two percent. So I, was, well, I said, I can't, I can't ignore that. Got to give that a go, considering I reviewed the, the Dank Juice. Um, £5.75, £5 I can tell, because the late price is still on it. Um, so, might as well give it a go. The hemp terpenines got my, um, you know, got my attention going. What's that? That's obviously to make it... What's, this, what's that going to do? It'd be interesting to see what it does to the, the flavour from what I can remember of last night anyway. Um, I imagine it's more of a, a weedy smell of, you know, danger. That's, well, that's the whole point of it, I suppose. But let's see. Let's have a look, shall we? All right. So. So it's a a nicer colour of yellow than I remember the dank juice, unless I'm mixing up one of the other ones I reviewed last night. Um, it's like a nice hazy pale yellow colour. Very little carbonation there. Decent creamy head now. Nose wise. Oh yeah, it's a whole heap of dank. <laughs> As you would expect. There's like a sort of, you know, a sort of weed type smell, I suppose you might call it. There's tropical juiciness as well, though. That smells really good. It's got my mouth watering already. Mmm. Smells good. So that is, it's like it's tropical, tropical fruits with a hint of sort of citrusy sharpness, and then plenty of dank, plenty of like sort of weedy type leaf type smell. I suppose you call it. Smells really good. That smells really appetizing. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it goes. Nice. No, it's um definitely danker. I was I was just trying to have a taste there and see. Is it overpowering? It's not. It's nice juiciness. It's a, it's almost bordering on, I suppose the the taste of something that's almost sl like mouldy nearly, but it's not. It's it's giving you're going oh is, is that a, your, my taste buds are going oh that's that taste a bit mouldy then you're going oh, no it's not. It's going in. Oh, it's hard to describe. It's described. The taste buds are kind of going in that direction, and then pff, there's nice nice juiciness, nice nice um tropical fruits. It's a pineapple. No, oh, it's more. I suppose lychee actually, kind of lychee with a, a hint of sort of grapefruit back notes. Bitterness, a little bit of bitterness, not huge. Mm. 
really getting the it's sort of like a the back from the back of the throat like up, up my nose I can feel I can smell sort of like a, a dankness so that there's yeah it's definitely danker juice than a dank juice um nice i like that actually I, I i really like that it's they've got it right like you you worry sometimes with these sort of beers where they go like dank as hell it just ends up being manky but no this is good nice one barred well done hmm alcohol wise 7.742 percent you know nah really you wouldn't know <clears throat> very nice I'm going to have to explore a bit more of Unbarred catalogue, I think. That's a it's, a... it's a unique type of IPA, I suppose. Very, you know, East Coast with dankiness in it. Very nice. It's a, yeah, very... That's good. All right, I'm going to... What am I going to give that? I have to mark it, don't I? I say quaffability on it, first of all. It's going to be mid because I'll go medium. It's not high, high quaffability, not low. It's medium. You can keep drinking. It's not, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a medium, I'd say. I'm going to give that like a seven, seven and a half, I think, actually. Seven and a half, I'm going to give that. Nice. Worth it, worth a try. Very tasty. Um, I like it. So, that's seven and a half for unbarred Danker Juice. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.